everybody so we're here today at Huntsville State Park it is 4th of July weekend and we're out here camping for a few days um, and in this video we're going to talk about some more gear that we use uh, that we really enjoy <laughs> Is a barbecue pit or a fire pit that you can put together and you know how we found this thing is we were going to a public or a privately owned camp campground in West Texas they did not have fire pits they said you couldn't start a fire unless you had your own barbecue grill or, or something like that so we found this thing on Amazon and it is awesome. So I'm gonna put it up for you today and show you how it goes together and we're gonna cook some burgers. Here's a couple of pictures of um, the pop-up pit from the camping trip that Stephen talked about. Um, it, we were in Medina and there was two other families that went with us and this pop-up pit was really the main source of our cooking for that week and you can see in these pictures really what you can put on the pit we have a cast iron uh, griddle uh, with a cast iron skillet and also a coffee pot and so we were really able to feed three families using just this pop-up pit so it was it really came in handy and everybody was really impressed with it Okay, so we've got it put together. So let's talk about it just a little bit. It took probably less than a minute, two minutes to put together. My camera person is telling me three minutes. So first we've got this little heat shield right here. And it's to protect the ground from the heat that you're gonna, from the fire you're gonna build up here. Um, we've used this thing a lot and we've had it on over grass and it has not burnt the grass. So this little heat shield does a good job. Now, when we bought it, this is an option. This little grill thing here is an option. You can buy this without this part. This, these pieces here hold the grill. Um, in the bottom, if you can get a shot of this, this is the stainless steel mesh that that you build your fire on now you see i've got this uh grate in here i went to lowe's and bought this uh, just for a little extra stability you don't need it um we built a lot of fires just on this stainless steel mesh and it's held up fine but i just wanted to preserve it and get some longevity out of it so i went to lowe's i bought this little replacement grate and I build my fire on this, um, and it works great. So we're going to get some charcoals in here, and we're going to get the fire going, and we're going to cook some burgers. So we'll see you all in a little bit. 
Good morning. So what we have here is our 12 inch lodge cast iron Dutch oven. Kara's going to be making what's called, was it Mountain Man? Yeah, something like that. Cowboy breakfast or Mountain Man breakfast or it's got a lot of different names. But um, <clears throat> we want to talk about this Dutch oven and our Dutch oven table here. Now, of course, the Dutch oven is cast iron. The table that these coals are on, this is all steel table. It's uh, made by Lodge as well as the Dutch oven. And so why do we have this? Why do we use this? So the oven in the, in the RV is just not very good. It, doesn't, it only cooks from the bottom and it's very, it's just not easy to use. So through a lot of searching and a lot of forums, and uh, this is definitely the way to go. Dutch oven and this table, we use it a lot. This Dutch oven is so versatile that you can cook anything in it. You know, we cook pizza, biscuits, you can make cobblers, um, really anything. And it's a lot better than the oven in the RV. Kara, if you had to rate this 1 to 10 on this setup... 20. All right. It is definitely good, folks. <laughs>